Hello community, this is SivageD and this is already the second episode of my vlog about getting awesome at League of Legends. Uh, today we're going to talk about something I love talking about. It's the fog of war. I was actually planning, and you may have heard about this, to talk about ch champions and getting ready for 5v5 and runes and getting in there. But I feel like this is extremely important and I will cover it first. It's not gonna take long. Because the fog of war is something that constantly makes us make the wrong decisions and still reward us for it. So most people will never learn not to make these decisions. I'll, I will explain this right now. Um, we are going to imagine a game. Uh, yes, I will first, yes. You are Morgana mid, and as you all know, Morgana can push extremely well and get away with it, because she can just shield herself, cage the jungler when he tries to gank, no sweat. So, uh, what we're going to do is we push that mid lane, like you usually do, and when the enemy rise is under his tower, like, trying to last hit and you will actually just take a step back into the fog of war while Rice is like trying to last it so he will be like eh, SS SS no problem he will say SS uh, his next wave comes you step back into his vision boom minions gone and you just take a step back into the fog again and the rise will be like eh, fine s s s s this is perfect you are going to do this many times and rise will eventually think his brain will tell him this morgana she's not s s she's just standing there again she is just there under this fog of war he is deciding this because it's extremely likely um, and he has been deciding this probably for a couple of times now and he was right every time so it's like yeah sh she's there but you could ch gank jungler maybe so yes there is a chance this happens it will sometimes happen gank jungler gank top whatever one of those uh, it it could happen uh, yes so now you are already slightly more awesome but we are going to use this to learn something even bigger we are uh, in the same game but we are now the enemy solo top and the lane is going extremely balanced uh, good job riot uh, the lane is in the exact middle you both have 70 percent hp and you're just farming now what's happening is you want that farm it's early in the game not watered and uh, yes, your brain is telling you, dude, you can get this farm. There is like only a 1 in 15 chance that there is an enemy in this bush. And um, yes, so you go for that farm and guess what happens? Nothing happens. There, um, there, it's absolutely fine. You are going to get that farm and get away with it and that's why this is hard to uh, master because you are actually still being rewarded but you are making 60 of these decisions every game so that means you die maybe three or four times just because you were deciding something wasn't going to happen which did what yeah and this loses you your game if everyone does this more than the enemy does it. Pros never make this mistake. Pros will be like, there is a 1 in 15 chance there is an enemy there. So, I cannot afford to take this farm. And that is exactly why we buy wards. We buy wards so we know for sure that we are safe. That we are not going to get ganked. And most of my viewers will probably in most of their games think I'm not gonna buy this ward I'm going to spend this money on getting stronger 
But if you think about, hey, I can't take this farm because there's a 1 in 15 chance I will die, you will not earn a lot. So, in fact, wards earn you money, they don't cost money, because they will allow you to farm so much more while only costing like 3 minions. I think that's really important to know about the folk of war. That you can't just. Uh, yeah. Fog of War fucks with your mind, man, and you will be taking 1 in 15 chances. Uh, that, that was everything I had to say about this. Uh, yes, I will end this now. Peace, thanks for watching.